Good afternoon viewers, this is Bhavna Vijayan for Red Spot News. Headlines Seventy-three percent of minority funds is yet to be used, finds Parliamentary Standing Committee. Authorities are neglecting the schemes and programs for the welfare of minorities. Historic vote to impeach Donald Trump on Wednesday. The 435-member House must approve impeachment with a simple majority. India slips to 112th rank in Global Gender Gap Index. Iceland retains first position. News in detail. As per the reports by the Parliamentary Standing Committee for Social Justice, 73% of funds allocated for the minority schemes and programs is still lying neglected by the authorities. In the budget estimates of Rs 4,700 crore, only 27.5% is utilised. When four months is left for the budget to expire, only 27.5% funds is utilised for the minority programmes from the entire budgetary allocation this year. In the report submitted in Parliament, the Parliamentary Standing Committee for Social Justice and Empowerment advocated that clear-cut plan with targets needs to be issued by the Ministry of Minority Affairs for every scheme. They further suggested that strict guidelines needs to be issued to the states to follow the same. The 31-member committee chaired by Rama Devi said they are not convinced by the routine reasons given for the misuse of funds allocated for different schemes. All of this report is pointing to only one thing, that the central government is neglecting its own responsibility towards the minority communities. News Desk, Red Spot News. The House of Representatives is all set to vote on Wednesday to take a decision on the impeachment of President Donald Trump. House Democrats laid out their impeachment case against President Donald Trump on Monday accusing him of betraying the nation. The U.S. House of Representatives is preparing to vote on the impeachment of President Donald Trump. Trump is accused of pressuring Ukraine to dig up damaging information on one of his main democratic challengers, Joe Biden, and his son Hunter during the elections. A rough transcript of the call revealed that Mr. Trump had urged President Zelensky to investigate discredited allegations against Joe and Hunter Biden. A formal complaint from a whistleblower kicked off the impeachment process in early September. Trump is facing two impeachment charges, obstruction of Congress by refusing to cooperate with the impeachment probe and the misuse of his office. If the House votes as expected on Wednesday, Trump will become the third president in U.S. history to be impeached. News Desk, Red Sport News. U.S. Senate passed the annual defense authorization bill on Tuesday. The bill includes a provision for creating a new Space Force branch of the armed services. The U.S. Senate passed a $738 billion defense policy bill. The National Defense Authorization Act, passed by a vote of 86 to 8, now goes to White House, where President Donald Trump has pr promised to quickly sign it on into the law. The bill, which was passed by the House last week with a bipartisan vote of 377 to 48, establishes a Space Force as a branch of the U.S. military housed within the Air Force. While Iceland remains the world's most gender-neutral country, India has moved down the ladder from its 108th position last year on the World Economic Forum's Gender Gap Report to rank below countries like China, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Brazil, Indonesia and Bangladesh. World Economic Forum has recently released Gender Gap Index 2019 that shows India has slipped to 112th position. India has moved downwards four places in terms of gender equality since last year. The country is ranked in the bottom five on health and economic fronts. The first World Economic Gender Gap Index was published in 2006 and India was ranked at 98th position. Since then, India's ranking has worsened on three or four metrics used for the overall ranking. India ranks high on the political empowerment with 18th position but slipped behind on health, economic participation and educational attainment. Though India ranks high on political empowerment, the female political representations is very low, with only 14% representations in Parliament. News Desk, Red Sport News. Headlines once again. Seventy-three percent of minority funds is yet to be used, finds Parliamentary Standing Committee. Authorities are neglecting the schemes and programs for the welfare of minorities. Historic vote to impeach Donald Trump on Wednesday. The 435-member House must approve impeachment with a simple majority. India slips to 112th rank in Global Gender Gap Index. Iceland retains first position. 
with that it's a wrap from me on this edition of red sport news thanks for watching you are watching red sport news